Hello, and welcome to episode 85 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'll be reviewing a favorite of mine, Mappy. Mappy was released in 1983 by Nameco. One very noticeable thing about this game was the marquee that was about three times taller than games of the time. My first time playing this game was at a mom-and-pop burger restaurant in Mountain Home, Arkansas. Mappy is a platform game in which you control Mappy the Police Mouse with a two-way left-right joystick and a door button. The object of this game is to collect all the stolen items scattered throughout a mansion. You need to collect these items all while avoiding enemy cats. The game begins with you entering a large mansion at the bottom right of the building. This mansion has six stories in all and is approximately three times as wide as the monitor. One unique thing about this mansion is there are no stairs or ladders to allow you to move from floor to floor. You need to jump on a series of trampolines in order to change floors. Jumping on a trampoline will bounce you as high as you wish. You are able to jump from level 1 to level 6 with one jump of the trampoline. As you are flying upward, you need to move the joystick to exit the floor you wish to land on. You cannot move to a floor while you are falling downward from the jump. You are limited to 3 jumps on each trampoline before it breaks causing you to fall through which will cost you a life. Each bounce on the trampoline will change its color warning you of the number of bounces you have taken. Before you jump on the trampolines they will be green. Jumping on it once will turn it blue. Jumping on it a second time will turn it yellow, and jumping on it a third time will turn it red. If you jump on the trampoline while it is red, it will break causing you to fall through. Jumping onto any floor will return the trampoline to green. If an enemy jumps on a trampoline, it will not change color. You will face two different types of enemies during this game. The first enemy you will face are small pink cats called Meowkies. These cats will chase you throughout the mansion to keep you from collecting the stolen articles. These cats will not only chase you, but will also try to head you off and corner you from both directions. You need to avoid these cats because if you touch one while they are on any floor, they will cost you a life. The second enemy you will face is a large red cat named Goro. Goro is the boss of the cats. You need to avoid Goro because contacting him will cost you a life. Even though Goro is the boss, he lets the Meowkies do the dirty work and chase you down. Goro has a tendency to hide behind the stolen items. If you collect the item while Goro is hiding behind it, you will earn bonus points, although you will not lose a life. If you contact either of these enemies while jumping on a trampoline, you will be safe and not lose a life. Throughout the mansion are a series of doors. You need to push the door button to open and close these doors. You not only can open the doors to allow yourself through, but you can time the opening and closing of these doors to knock out the enemies. If an enemy is knocked out, you can safely move past them. The doors only operate in one direction and will open in the direction of the doorknob. Each level has slightly different door and trampoline positions. In addition to the regular doors, there are color changing doors. These doors are called microwave doors and opening one will send a microwave in the direction it was opened. If the microwave contacts any of the enemies, they will be carried away with it. Enemy enemies that are carried away by the microwave will be taken out of play temporarily and you will be awarded bonus points. There will be 10 stolen articles scattered throughout the mansion. There are 5 different items, although there will be 2 of each item. Once you collect all 10 items, the level will end. If you are able to collect the items in pairs, you will earn bonus points. After you clear the first 2 levels, you will face a bonus round. During this round, you will need to move your way through a maze-like series of walls and trampolines. Bonus rounds are a race against the clock. There will be 15 balloons that are scattered throughout the maze as well as one balloon with Goro on it at the end. There is a musical tune playing during this round and you need to pop all the balloons before the tune ends. You need to pop all the red balloons before popping the blue one because popping the blue one will end the round. If the music ends, the round will also end. Unlike the mansion levels, once a trampoline changes colors, it will never change back so you are limited to 3 jumps on each trampoline. If there is a trampoline above another one, you can break through the top one safely, although if you break through the lowest one, the round will end, although you will not lose a life. Popping all the red balloon and the blue one last, it will award you bonus points. Popping the blue balloon will release Goro who will rise upward. After completing the bonus round, you will return to the mansion again, although there will be a different layout of trampolines and doors. This mansion will also have an attic that you can move through, although the enemies will also be able to move through this area too. There will be no items in the attic, so you can avoid this area or you can use it as an escape path. 
There will be trampolines that are immediately above floors, and if the trampoline breaks through, you will hit the floor and lose a life. Although the floor layout is different, the stolen items are in the approximately the same place as before. After playing three rounds in this mansion, you will face another bonus round. This time there will be a different pattern of walls as well as trampolines. Just like the previous bonus round, you need to pop all 15 red balloons before popping the blue one, and in doing so you will be awarded bonus points. After the second bonus round, you will face another new mansion. This mansion has something new. There will be a bell above the trampoline on both ends of the mansion. If you jump up and hit the bell, it will fall and if it hits any enemies, it will stun them for several seconds and you will earn bonus points. After three rounds in the third mansion, you will face another bonus round. Just like the previous bonus rounds, you need to pop all the balloons, but there is a twist on this level. If you pop the first 14 red balloons and leave the upper left red one, you can pop the blue balloon and Goro will fly up and pop the 15th balloon for you, giving you a perfect round. After the third bonus round, you will face another new mansion. This mansion will have another new item. There will be two sections of floor that will flash just like the microwave doors. These are trap doors and you can activate them by walking over them. Doing so will cause them to disappear and any enemies that fall through will award you extra points. The gaps will fill in automatically after a few seconds. Falling through the door will cause you to lose a life. After three rounds at this mansion, you will face another bonus round. Similarly to previous bonus rounds, you still need to pop the 15 red balloons and the blue one, although similarly to the third bonus round, you can pop 14 of the red balloons and then pop blue one which will release Goro, although this time instead of flying straight up, he will jump to the right and bounce on the trampoline and fly up on the second column from the left and pop the balloon at the top. After this bonus round, you will return to the first mansion at a harder difficulty. Each level will begin with more Meowkies and they will move faster and faster. If you don't clear each level in a timely fashion, there will be a hurry warning and more Meowkies will enter the mansion and chase you down. If you are able to avoid the new Meowkies and still don't clear the round, a Goro coin will appear and chase you down. You need to avoid this coin at all costs because contacting this coin, even while jumping from a trampoline, will cost you a life. Scoring for the game is as follows. You will earn 10 points each time you bounce on a trampoline, 50 points for each enemy hit by a door, 100 points for collecting each radio, 200 points for collecting each TV, 300 points for collecting each computer, 400 points for collecting each painting, and 500 points for collecting each safe. If you collect the items in pairs, you will earn a multiplier bonus for collecting the second one. The multiplier bonus begins at 2 times and will increase 1 time for each pair you collect. For example, if you collect the TV first and collect its match, you will earn 200 points for the first TV and 200 points times 2 for the second, or 400 points. Now if you continue on and collect the radios in pairs, the first radio will be worth 100 points and the second radio will be 100 points times 3 or 300 points overall. If you collect all items in pairs, the last one will be worth 6 times the original point value. The game will give you a hint as to which item you need to pair because it will flash letting you know it is the multiplier item. The scoring multiplier will reset at the beginning of each level or after the loss of a life. Occasionally Goro will hide behind one of the items. Collecting the item with Goro hiding behind it will award you a bonus of 1000 points. You will receive 300 points for hitting the Meowkies with the bell or if they fall through the trap doors. You will earn 1000 points for doing the same to Goro. For the bonus rounds, you will earn 200 points for popping each red balloon and 2,000 points for popping the blue balloon. If all balloons are popped in the bonus round, you will receive an additional 5,000 point bonus. I really enjoyed playing this game and highly recommend playing it whether in an arcade setting or on an emulator. I like this game more than Gyrus, but not as much as Mr. Do, so Mappy jumps into the 11th position overall. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any games you'd like me to review, please leave a message below or on my homepage. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Wednesday and Sunday.